Uh, hello everyone and welcome to day zero of 100 days of code in IoT, a challenge that I have decided to take. But before I get into the details, I'm going to say a few words, words about myself, just introduce myself. So hello again, I'm Thomas. I am software engineer, uh, mainly specialize in uh, web applications. I've got 10 years of experience, so yeah, worked for various companies in the past, uh, mainly as a, as a full stack uh, developer, but also I, did, I also did backend. Uh, my main languages are TypeScript and JavaScript, uh, as well as Go and PHP, but that was a long time in the past. I, I started as a PHP developer, actually. And also recently, uh, C and C++, um, Arduino slash ESP uh, embedded development. But this is more like a hobby that started a few months ago. Um, and yeah, one, one thing worth mentioning is that I don't have any electrical engineering background, but uh, I'm keen to learn and I think uh, I, I, I will do with, with, with this challenge. Okay, why I'm doing this and what are my goals? So the, the first reason is, is learn in public. So I haven't done this before. I've never been learning in public before. So that's something I would like to try. Something I think it's going to uh, motivate me. Uh, it's also a commitment that I'm actually making, making right uh, before myself. Another thing is, is obviously uh, bringing value to the community. So yeah, if there will be any interest, I'm hoping to build a, a, a small audience, small community, like discussion group around this topic. Uh, I, I also think like with this learning in public, I, I also will be able to, to consolidate the knowledge I already have. Because yeah, as I mentioned, I started a few months ago, so I have some knowledge, but it needs consolidation. Uh, and uh, the last one, the last goal, which is more like a long term, is to flatten the learning curve for IoT. So as I started uh, at the beginning, even with all my experience with programming itself and designing systems, uh, I, I, I struggled at the beginning. It's, it's lots of stuff to, to learn and uh, 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 IoT is, is very low level, like embedded programming is in general is very low level. You have a hardware part, you have a software part, so yeah, so that's that's a lot, and and I, I hope with this challenge, I, I I might be able to explain certain things uh, in a simpler words. But yeah, we'll see. It's just a, it's just my 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 long term goal. I hope I will be able to help with this. We'll see how it goes. Okay, now to the challenge. So yeah, generally I'm going to uh, post a video uh, daily. As, as it is with 100 days of code. So for 100 days, there's gonna be one video under 15 minutes. That's the limit I set for myself for, for those videos to, to not be too long. And uh, uh, I'm going to build a circuit every day. Uh, ideally, that would be like a small project, a small device. But uh, yeah, I don't know uh, how this is gonna go. You know, sometimes I, I guess like they might grow bigger uh, as, as I progress with the challenge, the, uh, definitely the, pro the, the, the projects are going to grow bigger as well. So I'm going to have to split them in parts. But in general is to build something every day and post, uh, post a video with how I've done it, the hardware part as well as the software part. Okay, so as this is day zero, I'm not going to be doing any coding. However, uh, I'm going to uh, quickly talk you through the environment I'm going to be uh, building and coding. So we start from the hardware. For the hardware, uh, as a microcontroller, I'm going to, I'm going to mainly uh, use uh, ESP8266 chip, it's this one. Uh, it's, it's got Wi-Fi, uh, the controller has Wi-Fi already built in. So it's, it's, it's better for connectivity than the basic Arduino. Uh, it's also cheaper than, than Arduino, the, the, the Wi-Fi version of Arduino. For around $12, $13, you can get three of those devices. Another thing is going to be uh, yeah, breadboard for the circuits, right? 
um, I also have AC adapter here for the for the power source, but that can be easily replaced with battery or uh, this is also really interesting. Like you can use this small USB uh, device that you can also use as a power source. Another thing is the development kit. This one, this is this is mine. It's used one. Uh, so yeah, there's a little mess inside. But um, yeah, in general, these are very useful. Uh, you, you got all the parts that that that, that you're gonna need with, with building those circuits. So I'm going to I'm going to put the link in the description uh, for an Amazon links for the description for those things so you can buy them uh, yourself if you want to join me. Okay, yeah, also other parts. Yeah, so there is also like you know the relay for example here. Um, and uh, this is a, a seven segment LED display. But yeah, generally like, yeah, we, we're gonna find out about those uh, later. Okay. So that was hardware. And for the software, uh, operating system is uh, Mac OS. This is because I use uh, a MacBook. Uh, however, um, so yeah, Everything's gonna be happening in this environment. However, if there is an interest uh, in, 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 in my challenge and uh, people run into troubles, uh, I, can, I can basically create video uh, how to set up environment in, in different operating systems. For coding, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code with C++ and platform IO plugins. This is because VS Code uh, is ID I'm most familiar with. I've already tried it with those plugins. Uh, it's it's really really good. Uh, Arduino ID, which is like more standard one for this kind of uh, this type type of coding, uh, I'm still going to use, but mainly for the code examples. There's not going to be really any coding there. Mm, for me, it's it's too bare. It would be better if if it had more functionalities. But maybe this is the point of this ID. Uh, but yeah, it's just my personal preference uh, is with VS Code. So yeah. Right, so th that is everything uh, for today. For tomorrow, uh, this is actually when the challenge starts. So today was more like around organization of all those things. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, it's just going to be, yeah, it's going to be quite simple, quick, uh, gonna set up my environment, so install everything I need on the software part. Uh, maybe a little presentation on the hardware part for the for the most uh, important things. And uh, I'm going to uh, create a, a equivalent of IoT Hello World application. So it's gonna be hardware part and software part. But yeah, that, that's going to be tomorrow. So yeah, see you guys.